In this video, I'm going to talk about printing from model space. And by model space, I'm referring to the model tab at the lower left corner. You may not have these tabs showing up. And if that's the case, um, you might have a black and a white uh, small icon at the very bottom uh, row of uh, the bottom status bar. And if you would like to show the tabs, you can right click on those black and white uh, buttons and hit display layout and model tabs. This is more of the traditional way to switch between model and paper space. Now, don't worry about what model and paper space are at this point. I'm going to cover those in a specific video. Uh, so at this point, I'm doing printing, but only from the model tab. And in the next video, I will cover printing from paper space or layout tabs. So the print command is available in the quick access toolbar. You'll notice that it's called plot there or available from the pull down where it's called print and then you can hit plot or the standard window shortcut which is control P. Now a plot is typically um, a word for a large format print because you know a big plotter or a big printer is known as a plotter. So you'll see the two terms used pretty much interchangeably in AutoCAD because it really just depends on what size paper and what type of device you're using. But you're using the same command to get to the print or plot command. So your first thing to do here uh, is to choose what printer you want to use. So that's available in the pull down where it says printer slash plotter. You can pick which device you want to print to. So if you have a printer at home, you could choose that and then send a print. Or if you are set up in an office, you'd have a large plotter um, available here. Or your other option is to use a DWF or PDF writer, which is very handy when you're sending files to someone who doesn't know how to use CAD or doesn't have CAD, then they can still view a drawing. So the DWG2 PDF driver or writer is uh, something that is installed with AutoCAD in the newer versions. And so it allows you to easily make PDF files of your CAD files. The next step below that is to choose a paper size. If you're using a PDF paper or a PDF driver, you can pick almost any paper size you want because it's intended to be for architectural type drawings. If you're sending to your own personal printer, you may have much fewer choices such as eight and a half by 11, et cetera. Uh, for this example, I'll choose 11 by 17 uh, just to kind of show you how this works. The next step underneath that is the pull down for what to plot. So really you have four basic options here. Display means whatever is visible currently on screen. Now you may not have really um, planned ahead and set the um, the zoom up to show exactly what you wanted on screen before you did the plot command. But uh, you can do that that way if you want. Extents means make the objects as big as possible, everything in the drawing. It's a lot like zoom extents, except you're plotting that way. So it's going to try to blow up everything that's in your drawing as large as possible. Limits it refers to the limits that your drawing is set to, which most people don't use. So that's probably the least used option. And window, in my opinion, is probably the easiest choice uh, if you're printing from model space because you can basically put a window around whatever you want and then fine tune it very easily. So I'm going to hit window and immediately the plot command disappears. You don't have to be alarmed. That's normal because it allows you to put the window around what you want. So you can now click two corner points to kind of form a rectangle around whatever you're trying to include in your print. Now, if you mess up or if you want to double check it, it will uh, add the button here for window uh, right next to the pull down. So I could click that and you can see there's a kind of a gray outline around what's not included in the print. And it would allow me to do a new box if I maybe made a mistake and didn't make it large enough or something like that. And then I'm back in my plot command again. Now, I usually suggest that you check the box for center and then that allows your paper to have the drawing centered on it. Um, the next setting to the right is the plot scale. Now this is an important one because a lot of times you want your print to be at a specific scale. 
So right now mine says fit to paper, which means it's not at any certain scale, and it's just gonna be as large as possible. So if I wanted to, I could uncheck fit to paper, and then from the scale pull down, choose whatever scale I wanted. For example, quarter inch, let's say. And next to the right, if you uh, don't have the as many settings as I do, you'll notice there's a small arrow on the lower right corner, and that allows that uh, options to be expanded or contracted back again. So that small arrow uh, is going to show the options if you don't see them. Uh, so on the lower right corner, you have orientation, and then you can pick portrait or landscape, depending on how you want your drawing to be arranged on the paper. And those are the basic important settings for the kind of this basic tutorial. Um, a couple other important items. First is apply to layout will remember your settings. So that's very handy. So you don't have to redo these same settings if you're going to do the same print again 10 minutes later or an hour later. If you do forget to hit apply to layout, you can go to the very top and hit previous plot and that will bring up the last settings that you used. Now, I haven't talked about line weights yet, but at the very top right, the plot style table pull down is where you would choose the appropriate plot table to dictate your line weight control. And we'll cover that in another video. So just keep that in mind and we'll come back to that a little later. So right now my line weights are kind of irrelevant until you choose something there and I talk about how to control that. The other thing that is uh, useful on the lower left is preview because you want to make sure that it fits on the paper and see how it looks. Um, so you can always hit that if you want, see how it looks okay. You will have a plot banner about educational product if you're using the educational version of AutoCAD, um, but you can get an idea of what your paper will look like. And then if you're ready to print, you can hit the printer at the top. If you want to go back and adjust settings, you can hit the X, and that will take you back to review your settings again. Now, if you're making a, a PDF, when you hit OK, it's going to ask you one more question, and that's where to save the file. If you're sending an actual print to a printer, you hit OK and the printer starts, so you're done. So when I hit OK, you can see how it asks, OK, where do I want to save this file? What do I want to call it, etc., for the actual PDF file that's being created. So then obviously you could path to wherever you wanted and name the file appropriately. So that's the basics of plotting for ModelSpace. Again, I will cover uh, layout tabs and line weights in another video.